Hello YouTube fans, hope you can hear me voice and you're wondering if I've turned into a crying little boy. No I haven't. This is what we got in Bernardo's the other day when I was in another shop. For people who was around in the golden era of art drawings and art covers and lots of other weird things, you might remember this going back like me in Memory Lane. In the early 80s, a lot of these art covers with a crying kid was known a lot. They were like common in a lot of houses. I remember when I was a wee little lad coming to my mate's house and finding one of these crying kids. So for people who were not around in the golden days of the 80s and so on, you might not remember this, but if you were around in that golden day, as I meant to say, you probably will remember the crying kid. So, for all you YouTube fanders out there, here's a bit of an history lesson for people who want to go back to memory lane. Because this is what was given to us the other day in Bernardo's. Definitely goes, doesn't it, knowing this is a kid's charity shop. The dying kid has a lot of history. Boys and dudes who were striking on the photo. Now, the history was, the one that drew these lovely pictures of a striking kid... There was a lot of rumours at the time that the artist was slapping the kid. Whether it's two in that or it was Macarona, it's a different story. Two for the matter was, he smacked the kid and then when they were striking and crying the river, he, t he started to draw and paint the beautiful kid what was striking. Now, I don't know whether it was Macarona just to market the picture more or not, but the history of this is even more interesting than the kid what got a slap. Because the history was, as this went on, these pictures became possessed, meaning they were haunted. Meaning if I was to move up and down and left and right, the eyeballs of this weird little kid here would start to move about. Even now, my channel is starting to sink out of fear. In fear that the face will come alive, it will roar at me and the kid will come alive and start attacking me like freaking Chucky out of child's prey. But there was a lot of rumours that these paintings were possessed. And the kid's eyeballs start moving left and right of the stating weird little kid. Now, I'm not one that believes in dusty roasties and supernatural stuff. The only time I believe in dusty roasties is if I start watching horror films. But the fact of having this cheapy, ugly, weird little thing in the shop is making my channel have an epileptic fit of thinking fear. I have a fear that this weird little thing is going to come alive and start attacking me but there was a lot of rumours at the time if anyone remembers the striking kid we've now got one in Bernardo's if there was child to prove say to mind me to phone now man it's manager's phone number or phone 999 little too late as the artist is probably now brown bed i'm thinking should we ebay this weird little thing or should we put it out i've got this fear that if it is possessed and it has got evil dusty roasties I'm putting it in Bernardo's in fear it will come alive, just like the scene in Raiders of the Lost Art, where you get evil spirits flying about, heads exploding, and half our sop keepers getting destroyed by the evil spirit of this weird little kid. What never stops bloody striking? If you get a toast up off it, there it is, crying the way for it. Yes, it looks a bit like me when I was a wee little lad. But the fact of having a striking kid, oh it's a little dirt actually, there. But the fact of having a striking kid in the shop, is it really suitable for Bernardo's? He's got an age too, so I've got a feeling he's had different numbers. But for anyone, does it be sort of sweet and like normally when I do my videos? If anyone remembers the striking kid, boy, do whatever, let me know. Was it possess? Did you go to people's houses and his eyeballs were rocking up and down? I'm not staying on this channel that long because my hands is taking a fear. And I, only, I don't believe in ghosts. And as the lead singer said in Ghostbusters, I ain't afraid of no ghost. But in this days, my stamina is having a fit of fear. A fear of having this benolic little thing in the shop. Because at the end of the day, whether there is truth in this, whether the time the die, the time died there, whether the die who was painting this beautiful artistic drawing, did slap kids about. We've got a child abuse off for an artist. Take stuff for Bernardo's. And if it's true, and the evil spirits will come out of these paintings to attack people, I'm out of here. 
unless we really have got a real dust busters out here. But into them people, be smart, be safe. Unlike me, who's got this benolic looking thing staring at me. I'm definitely going to be out of here. Until next time.